Hey yo, how's it going YouTube? It's me, Adrian Lucio, and welcome to The Man in the Attic. New horror game that just came out. Let's jump right in. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about the man that was just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I, ch I shared the bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody's here. There's a man here. He is here? It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Ain't gonna be so distant now. I mean, this game's called Man in the Attic. I presume that there's a sucker in my house. Find phone. Uh, don't got my phone on me? How'd I lose it? Actually, I can't be talking. I'd be losing my f my earbuds all the time. So, yeah, we got a painting. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice bedroom, actually. You know, got a nice little TV here. Got a nice little lamp. Where is his phone at? Is it right here? Uh, okay. Keep hearing it ring, but it's not anywhere near me. Yo, one thing I gotta say about this dude real quick, this room is this dude got no blinds on his windows he's asking to get murdered ain't no way i'll be able to freaking sleep like that you know i gotta have some some on there you know get kidnapped or something hey i ain't stupid i don't need to use the bathroom now yo this house is dark i mean i guess it is nighttime but this is mega dark. Where is my phone at? Oh, it's on the de on the coffee table. Check phone. Hey, brother, I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time, and uh, it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I had to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are. In their imagination, she was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Oh, don't know who Alex is, but I guess he's my homie or something. It's getting late. I should clean up first. Oh, man. Clean up dining table. Dude, this... Oh, I guess we invited Alex over to our house and he ate with his daughter. And she was talking about something. Hold on, let me check it again. Let me see what it was. Can I check it? Nope, I cannot. Dang it. All right, let's clean up this table. Clean table? Yes. Today, my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along, his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically, she is my niece. It's been a while since I've seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch some TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and let her uh, there to watch some TV away from the boring adults. She was grateful. From the boring adults? Dang. I mean, I'd probably put some YouTube on and watch some videos. So, I don't really watch cartoons anymore. Bowling room, I need to get to go there. Why would I need to go there? Oh, it says I don't need to go there. What was wrong with me? Yeah, I don't really watch cartoons anymore. I used to watch them a ton as a kid, but, you know, suckers don't really watch TV anymore. Um, so I'll just do the dishes real quick. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was going to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden, Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs, staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a little frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed the Lee's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and soon after they left for the night. I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Ooh. Talk about my childhood nightmare. Dude, this dude followed me since I was a kid? Get out of my house. 
Leave me alone. Hey, dude. Yo, having a person in your house, like living in your house without you knowing, that would be some nightmare fuel, man. You know, I've seen those videos, you know, I've seen the news of, you know, there's weird crackheads living in your house in the attic and junk. And you never known about that, you know. That would be horrific. Coming down here and eating all my food, too. Ooh, hopefully there's no one living in my house, though. I mean, I don't have an attic in my actual house, in my parents' house, at least. Because I live here with my parents, but... Yeah, I don't need to use the bathroom now. But um, let me know, do you guys have an attic in your house? You know, according to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway, before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Oh, this is where he was standing? He better not pop up right- Whoa! What's that noise? What's that noise? These noises, they are coming from the attic. I'm definitely not going to sleep now. Yo, grab something, dude. I would grab a knife. Grab a bat, I don't know, something. I don't remember leaving this door open. Oh, shoot. Oh, snizap. Got the horror music playing now. So you know it's getting serious. Got this creepy looking painting on my floor. Why do I own this? What's wrong with me? This is stupid. There's nothing up here. No, dude. You know you heard those noises. I would not be able to sleep. Nope. I'll freaking check the whole house. You know, I'm trying to get murked in my sleep. Yo, there is sliding noises. Who is in my house? Dude, home invasion is one of the scariest. You know, that's probably one of my biggest fears, honestly. Um, so, the thing just says go back to sleep. So, guess I have to do that. No choice that I have in the matter. Go, back, go to bed. Go to bed and die. Because that's what's about to happen right now. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you obviously search for the cause, but you won't find anything, and you question it once more. Okay. Is that it? Don't tell me that's the end of the game. Oh, it's not. Yeah, I knew it. Is the man in the attic real? Oh, he's real. Unless it's like a boogeyman type situation. But I don't think that's what's going on right now. I think there's a real creeper in my house. Yo, it's a zoom. What is this? Is there someone there? Hold up, let me check. I mean, I can't see anybody. I don't see it. Whoa, I saw some eyeballs. Saw some eyeballs. Who was that? Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, sorry for hitting the mic right there. My goodness. Thank you for playing my specific fear. The man in the attic. Wow, that was really, really, really good. I know I said that a lot, but that was good. That just played on the fear. You know, that just played with your mind. You know, there wasn't any jump scares. There wasn't, you know, any creepy shadows in the corner. It was all just playing on your mind. It really was just that. My imagination is what caused all the fear. Wow, that was a good game. All right, that was the man in the attic. This game was pretty much just the game playing on childhood fear I guess and um, you know just showing that not everything that's you might think is scary is you know might not be real you know it might just all be in your head but watch out because there might be a man in your attic